Right, in this video, we're just going to demonstrate how to fill up a petrol generator. Uh, all you need to do is make sure everything is off. Uh, the circuit breaker down, switch off. You open it here on the top, you will see that there is a filler um, space over here. There is a filter. You don't take the filter out. If there is any grime in the filter, then you can take it out just to clean the filter. Then you can clean the filter, but usually you leave that in. And this is the tank. This is where you're putting your petrol. Now you'll see there's a gauge here and as we fill it up we can see the little um, needle or the uh, um, indicator here moving as we fill it up. Now you will need something called a jerry can or a fuel can. They can be plastic, they can be steel. Okay, so here is a steel one. Now just keep in mind, these are not all the same. The color coding is very important and also that it meets the standard for fuel because if it's, pet if it's water, it's normally blue. Um, this thing, this thing opens like this. It's, it, it might be under a bit of pressure, so you gotta be careful. Don't get a fart when you open this. If it's been in the sun or anything like that, it might make a bit of a popping sound. Uh, and this one has been in the shade. There's a rubber here just so that the fuel does not leak out. So you can see how it uh, closes and how it opens. So you just go like that and there and close it. All right, I'm now show you the plastic one. All right, the plastic one looks like this. Uh, it's got a filler here. And this is also where you uh, use the, this is also where you fill the generator. Um, at the back, it's got a breather. I like to leave it a little bit open. I find these do change shape in the sun. Um, these are not as effective if you're going to be uh, putting these in your car. They tend to, uh, you can smell the petrol um, when I've traveled with these. But again, make sure that it complies with the relevant standard. These are not all the same. Different colors denote different things. It must be for fuel. It must say for petrol and diesel and petrol are not considered the same thing. Some of these come with an easier nozzle so that you can put this on and then when you pour it into your uh, funnel it makes it easier or you, you don't even have to have a funnel this could be uh, connected uh, uh, fed straight into the filler point on your generator but our experience is this is not that useful okay so what you want to do is you want to align the um, the uh, jerry can the container and you want to be able to fill it into that uh, funnel and make sure you don't spill petrol on the sides here um, especially if this thing's hot so we're just filling it up Cover it. Okay, it's important to keep a steady pace while you are pouring in the petrol. Some people go too much and then this thing fills up and it spills and then sometimes it can actually, um, an air, air bubble can come out and actually put petrol around or it come onto your, to your hand. Okay, then just want to uh, get the petrol off there, close the lid, check the, the indicators at full and now you can restart your generator keep the petrol away when it's time to start the generator keep it safe don't leave it in the sun don't leave it near any open flames